welcome to class. I want to get started right away here. We've got a quick express flow today. Um, so let's get after it. Let's get started on our mats and in child's pose. I want you to come down, let your knees come out wide, feet to touch behind you. Really extend your arms nice and long in front of you. Go ahead and rest your forehead on the mat and start to deepen the breath. Take inhalations and exhalations out the nose. Starting to feel centered in this space, four corners of your mat, all you need to worry about in this moment, right here, right now. Two more full breaths here in child's pose, in through the nose out through the nose. Good yogis, then start to come forward. And I want you to come to tabletop, hands and knees, warming up the spine with some cat cow. Inhale, cow pose, let the belly drop. Gentle gaze up, exhale, cat round through the spine, tuck chin to chest. Good, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Two more rounds with your breath. Back to a still tabletop position. Let's take a thread the needle together. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, send the arm down underneath your left arm. Left fingers extend forward or take a half bind around the right hip and stay for another full round of breath in through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Good. Back to tabletop, sweep the right arm high, set the right palm down, thread the needle on the left side. Inhale, arm sweeps up, exhale, send it through. Good, and then same variation as you took with the first side, so we're tenting those right fingertips, or we're coming around for the half bind there on the left hip, and we're staying for a full round of breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. Good, replace the hands to the mat, inhaling, sweep the left hand high, set it back down on the mat, and from here, let's take our downward facing dog. So first downward facing dog of class, go ahead and pedal it out or take any of those organic movements you like, um, and if that's just staying still, feeling rooted, starting to open up that back line of the body, that's fine too. I'm kind of a fidgeter at first, to down dog, we're going to stay here for three more full rounds of breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Good. Two more breaths. Good. Once you're done with your two rounds of breath, I want you to hinge forward just slightly and drop your knees until they're hovering just a few inches off of the mat here. So hovering down dog. We're holding here. We're breathing. We're grounding our palms down into the mat, starting to engage our quadriceps here, starting to engage our core, seal your navel to your spine. Good, feeling really strong and engaged here. We're hovering our knees two inches off the mat for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, downward dog in two, one, exhale, downward facing dog, full breath here in and out. And then gently walk your hands to your feet, to the back of your mat here. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, take a nice forward fold. Keep your feet hip width distance or wider here. And I want you to take just a little bit of traction in the back of your neck. So bring your palms to the back of your head, feeling a little traction here. Let your um, crown of your head really face down towards the earth. Release the head and the neck here. Maybe open and close the jaw a few times. Release any tension you feel. Good. Another full breath here. 
and then release your head. Toe heel the feet back to touch. Inhale, lift halfway, reset the spine, exhale, fold. On the inhale, come all the way to standing, arms reach high. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, another time. Inhale, arms reach high. And then this time I want you to grab your palms together above your head, release your pointer finger, inhale for length, and exhale, take a side bend to the right. Stay for a round of breath in and out. Good, inhale back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Stay for a round of breath in and out. Good, inhale back to center, arms reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. Take your Chaturanga Dandasana, whatever version you're ready for, just halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good, yogis, inhale, gaze forward, exhale, step, hop, float, top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold. Linking one breath to one movement now. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale to center, exhale, bend to the left. Inhale to center. And exhale, forward fold, release down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna take one more round of that. Building heat here. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, float to the top. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend, other direction. Inhale, come up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Know that you can always modify these by coming to your knees or just holding a high plank if you like. Meet in downward facing dog. Full breath in through the nose. Full breath out. On the next inhale, sweep the right leg high. Exhale, bend the heel towards the glute, open the hip. Stay for a breath. And an exhale. And then replace the right foot to the mat. Take the left side, inhale, leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, heel to glute. Good, friends. Stay here for a breath. And an exhale. And then replace the left foot down to the mat. Inhale, gaze to the top of your space. Exhale, come to the top, however you want to get there. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold, release down. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. So settle into your chair. Start to sink down, get the weight concentrated into your heels. Maybe you can even lift all 10 toes up. Good, feel the core start to engage. Arms are very active here. Get your seat a little lower. Good, and breathe. Good, from your Utkatasana, take an inhale. On the exhale, sweep the arms back, come up onto the ball mounds of the feet, drinking birth, and then inhale, chair. Exhale, sweep it back. Good, two more. Good yogis, inhale, chair pose. Sink a little lower, you got it. And exhale, forward fold, release down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank and hold. We're here in plank, holding strong, getting our hips nice and level here. Good, and engaging the core. Shoulders are right over our wrists. We're here in our high plank, we're holding. And we're breathing. And we're going to take some shoulder taps together. So just a little tap up. Replace the hand down. Tap with the other side. Good, you guys. Shoulder taps here for 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and optional Chaturanga Dandasana to seal that out. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Make it back down. Good. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. On the inhale, sweep the right leg high. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to right try. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, cross it over to your left try. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Come all the way up. Good, and then start to sink down. If you see that your knee is right over your ankle, the heel is lifted on the back foot. Core is engaged, hips are both pointing towards the front. So shift right hip back, left hip forward, breathe in. Exhale, take a back bend. <sighs> Open mouth exhales are great here. We're gonna do three more together. <sighs> One more. <sighs> and then inhale, high lunge. Good yogis, exhale, warrior two, open wide, good, and sink in. Three breaths here. Externally rotate the front thigh, your knee tracking in line with the second toe, arms engaged. Maybe you draw your gaze over the fingertips and breathe. Another full round of breath, in through the nose, out through the nose. Next inhale brings you to reverse warrior. Good, hold, don't let the lunge go. Sink back down, get the knee over the ankle. Breathing here. Stay for another sip of air in. And then exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana. So straightening through the front leg. Left arm lifts, top arm lifts. You can have your hand here to the inner ankle. Draw the gaze up. We're breathing here together. Good, yogis. Another inhale and an exhale in your trikonasana. And then I want you to sweep both arms forward like you're holding something in your hands you can't let go of, like a giant beach ball. Really engaging through our obliques here. Breathe in and exhale, vinyasa. Plant the hands, step the right leg back. Take your chaturanga, your upward facing dog and your downward facing dog. Well done, friends. Let's get our left side, shall we? Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to try. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, take your high lunge. Good, sink down. Find your alignment here. So, Knee over ankle, back heel lifted, arms up high, core engaged. Shift right hip back, left hip forward, and breathe. Take an inhale here, open mouth exhale, back bend. Two more together on this side. And then inhale back to your high lunge. Exhale, warrior two, open wide. Good, so find your alignment, knee over ankle, knife edge of back foot down, arms are super engaged. Draw your gaze over your front fingertips, breathe in, breathe out. Another full round of breath here in warrior two. On the inhale, take your reverse warrior. So don't let your lunge go. If it started to get sloppy, re-engage. Get knee over ankle. Breathing here, reaching tall with our top arm. Stay here for your inhale, folks. And then exhale, trikonasana. Find your triangle. Good, and really growing tall through that top lifted arm. And engaging through the core, equal weight in both feet. You're breathing here, ujjayi breath. Good. On your next inhale, utita arms. Both arms shoot forward. Remember like you're holding something, so energetically pressing your hands together. 
Good, friend, stay for a breath in. And then on the exhale, take your vinyasa, Chaturanga Dandasana on the exhale. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath here, in through the nose, out through the nose. We're gonna flow through that, just linking one breath, one movement here. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Option to come up on the ball mounds of the feet. Inhale, chair. Exhale, sweep it back. Good, two more together. Good, yogis. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold, release down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Take your half push up here, your Chaturanga Dandasana, just halfway down on those. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Full breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Good, my friends. Inhale to sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge, rise up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, Utita arms, both arms are forward. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Maybe you wanna take an Ekapada Chaturanga with one leg floating. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. And exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Good, my friends, let's get our left side here. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, take your high lunge. Exhale, take a back bend. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, both arms forward. And exhale, wash it out with your vinyasa, maybe one leg floating if you did on the first side. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So good, yogis. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, I want you to come down onto your mat now. And uh, maybe you wanna take a quick little sip of water like me. And then we are gonna move straight into some core work. And for core today, I would like to go ahead and start on our back. So I want you to stretch your legs out long, arms above the head, take a nice breath. Let your heart rate lower a little. And then on the inhale, I want you to bring arms and legs both up. So shoulder blades are off the ground, legs are off the ground, and then back down. Good, so all the way up, all the way down. Good, full range of motion, sit up here. Everything is activated. Good, keep it up. We're gonna be here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back down. And then I want you to lift your left leg, lift the right arm, and I want you to pulse to this side. Good, so just pulsing on one side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch out sides right away. Good, pulsing here. You guys got it. We're on this side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release down, full breath in, 
full breath out straight into yogi bicycle so lift the knees stacking over the hips flex the feet inhale chest lifts exhale cross it over inhale to center exhale other side good so moving with your breath open mouth exhales are nice here right, and just keep it up good work friends Moving through these yogi bicycles, keeping your breath engaged and active. Stay with me, you guys got this. Yogi bicycles for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give yourself a quick good morning stretch. Reach long, high above your head, full breath in through the nose. Ah, out through the mouth, let it go. Good. Almost done, but not yet. So I want you to rock and roll forward. Start to make your way forward on your mat. And I want you to come into a high plank pose. So I'm going to time us for this on my watch. And I want you guys to stay in this high plank, holding here, getting your shoulders underneath your wrists here, and just using your breath. Stay focused. Know that you are strong enough. You can do it. You've got this. We're staying in our high plank. We're almost halfway there, actually. So we're 30 seconds into this already, you guys. I'm holding you here for one minute. You can do it. I know it. Stay with me, so strong. Keep it up. We have only 20 seconds left. Yes, yogis, you got this. So strong. You keep doing these plank holds in a minute, we'll feel like nothing. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, let it go. Take a child's pose here. Go ahead and release back. <sighs> Full round of breath in. <sighs> and out. And then walk yourself forward. Take an optional vinyasa here. So I really love a nice extra long upward facing dog stretch after I do a little core work. Feels really nice. Meeting downward facing dog, full breath in. And full breath out. Good yogis, hinge forward. Come all the way down to the mat on your belly. I want you to take a little more core work. I like to work our core 360 degrees around. So that means plank holds, that means working on strengthening our spinal muscles. Extend your arms straight in front of you. And on the inhale, I want you to lift arms and legs. Exhale, release down. Good, you guys. For eight, seven, six, lift for five, four, three, two, and one, and then release down. Put your right cheek on the mat. We're gonna take a few breaths here and then we're gonna do another set. Full breath in through the nose. Maybe an open mouth exhale to release a little heat. Good, and then again, V-ups. Um, extend the arms forward, and then inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up, and exhale, down. Good, for eight, seven, six, five. You can do it for four, for three, two and one good job my friends opposite cheek comes to the earth maybe shimmy your hips back and forth release the lower spine here oh, so nice and then push yourself back up take a little child's pose for a round of breath and then back to your downward facing dog my friends and take a breath here and through the nose out through the nose. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, yogi frog squat. So however you wanna get there, you can hop in, or if you'd like to just sink down 
sit into this posture. If you've got a block, this is a great spot for a block underneath your booty if your hips are really tight press the palms together maybe you want to really press on your knees with the back of your triceps get a little groin opening great spot to stay if you want some hip opening here or if you're ready for an arm balance this is a fun place to get into crow so if you're working on if you already have crow in your practice just go for it work on it and work on holding it with breath if you're um, newer to crow i'm going to walk you through it so really place your hands down on the mat ground them into the mat evenly so you want to spread all 10 fingers wide come up onto your tippy toes and then i like to get my knees all the way in to my armpits so that'll look different for some people are farther down um, i feel the most stable when i get my knees all the way up into my armpits so maybe today you hinge forward and you lift one foot maybe the other maybe you just play around with that balance point good and draw your gaze forward to keep yourself from rolling forward so if you gaze too far back you may roll all the way forward if you're working on a shoot back with crow something that helps me is to take a big breath in and then like a big open mouth exhale as I go back and then you're set up right for your chaturanga dandasana from there inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog full breath in full breath out everybody come back to downward facing dog from wherever you are and let's move on just one more little set of standing postures inhale lift the right leg high exhale step it through low lunge inhale warrior one back foot is sealed down on the mat arms reach high good hips are pointed towards the front of the mat <sighs> using our breath here stay with me for an inhale and then as you exhale drop your arms behind you take a bind inhale puff your chest up exhale humble warrior dip down to the inside of your front thigh and bring the palms up as high as comfort allows let the crown of the head dip down towards the earth and use your breath here just melt And gently start to release that bind and bring your hands to the inside of your right foot toe heel the foot out to the edge of the mat drop down to your back knee good and take a runner's lunge here so again just a nice little hip opening and breathe here so runner's lunge options here you can stay upright you can push on this inner thigh whatever you like i really like to be on my forearms i feel like a really nice deep marination here in this hip opening but however you like it i right, just breathe here get another full round of breath in your runner's lunge good and then push yourself up onto your right palm reach back you can also be on your forearm for this if it's more comfortable and reach back and get a little quad stretch here good bring the heel in towards the glute good here's your breath here and then release that bring both palms to the earth come back up off of your back knee and zip your right leg back to meet your left as you inhale find a side plank right hand is your foundation and breathe so feet can be staggered they can be stacked you can come down onto that bottom knee if you need and breathe and then we're going to take some plank twists you can also just hold a static plank if you prefer or follow along with me for plank twists really nailing in that oblique exercise today for eight seven six five you can do anything for four three two and one good job you guys coming back down take an optional chaturanga here inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog so good full breath good left side inhale leg is high exhale step it through low lunge on your inhale find your warrior one so your right foot is sealed down into the mat 
Hips are squared towards the front. Arms are lifted and engaged, and you're breathing. Stay for your inhale, and then exhale, drop your arms behind your back. Take the opposite clasp here, one that feels maybe a little awkward, the opposite thumb on top. Inhale, and exhale, humble warrior. Dip down into that inner side of your left leg and let the palms come up high. As much as it's comfortable, take that nice chest expansion. Use your breath here and let your head dangle. Crown of the head points down towards the earth. And then gently release your bind. Bring your hands to the inside of the left foot. And then we're gonna come down for our runner's lunge on this side. So whatever variation of that you took on the first side, take care, even yourself out. Again, remembering if you took that pushing on your knee, getting on the knife edge of the front foot, if you did that on the first side, do it here, even yourself out. But most of all, just let yourself sink into this kind of restorative posture. Well, it may, you know, depending on how tight your hips are, it may not feel incredibly restorative. Um, but the more you do it, the more it kind of becomes one of those postures to catch your breath, restore. Good, my friends, you got it. And it's time to even yourself out. So come up, take your quad stretch. So again, um, lifting on the palms, or you can stay on the forearm, whatever's comfortable. Doesn't matter, just get a quad stretch in. And then go ahead and release that. And this time you're gonna come up onto both palms. I want you to zip the left leg back to meet the right. And we're gonna use our left palm as our foundation here. Inhale, find your side plank on this side. So again, feet can be staggered like so, they can be stacked, doesn't matter. As long as you're in your side plank, you can come down to the knee and breathe here, either holding here or you're taking these side plank twists with me. Good, you guys, we're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, you did it. Optional vinyasa, last one I'm gonna cue, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Nice work, yogis. I want to seal class with just one nice hip opener here. Um, this is a quick class, but uh, I just don't feel complete in a practice if I don't get a good half or full pigeon in. That's just me. Um, I know that you can kind of close this out however you like with a different hip opener, but if you're taking a half pigeon, start with your right leg here. Inhale and then exhale. Start to release down, find your sleeping pigeon. Just melting into the mat here, really marinating into this hip opener. Good if you have time. Um, pause this and hold longer. We're just doing kind of an express flow so we don't have time for much longer. Know that this is your practice though. Tailor it to what you need. Come up, shake it out, maybe pedal out the dog and then let's get our left side. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, bring it forward. Set yourself up for your half pigeon on the left. Okay, gentle press up. And then come down into your sleeping pigeon as you're ready. Hmm, just melt down here. Such a great, great hip opener. This is probably my favorite yoga pose of all. I just get so much benefit out of that deep hip work. Um, we store so much in our hips. Really important to counterbalance all of life's activities with a lot of good hip opening. A couple more breaths on this side to even out. Good, my friends, once you're feeling nice and even, go ahead and walk yourself back up. Good, just a quick pedal out here. 
Well done, yogis. You guys did it. Just a nice express flow. And um, thank you so much for joining me. Always an honor to guide you. Namaste.